During this video, we will highlight some of the many new features of EBS 1.3 through the course of a simple convoy training exercise. First, we will use the new Visitor 4 to create a new terrain for VBS 2. Using the new drag and drop capability, we will drag shape data into Visitor 4 to establish a terrain base. Supported formats include DEM, DTED, GeoTIFF, PNG, SHP, and KML. From there, we can resize and move the terrain area definition as needed. As you can see, with the new raster caching, manipulating the terrain view is very quick and responsive. Now that we have the basic shapes of the terrain, we can convert common mapping data from vector format into object placement instructions. In this case, we will populate trees and establish a road for our convoy. Here is our final terrain, created in record time due to the impressive tools and rapid workflow available in Visitor 4. At this point, we are ready to set up our convoy training scenario in the editor. First, we will place some vehicles for the convoy. With the new gunner arcs feature, we are able to set up the arc of fire for the primary gunner of a vehicle. These arcs have limits and help define extents for custom vehicles as well as for imposed training purposes. Now that we have the convoy ready, we will set up a small IED ambush. We'll place an IED next to the road and set up the parameters for the device. Note that we will set this device to be proximity based, but also affected by counter radio controlled IED electronic warfare or crew jamming equipment. We will now place our OP4 unit away in cover. By linking the IED to a trigger, our OP4 unit will also be able to trigger the device remotely. Finally, we will set up a camera object at a good vantage point to record the action. The new security camera can capture video from the simulation and store to disk in MPG4, DivX, XVID, MPG2, MPG1, MJPG, and MSVC formats. We can use this video footage later for AAR or other purposes. Now that our scenario is ready, the convoy begins its route. During this training, we are going to simulate an engagement. The driver sees a possible threat on his side and stops the convoy. The platoon leader leans forward to see around the driver to get a view. Just then, the OP-4 engages the convoy with small arms fire. The rear passenger engages the enemy from within the vehicle using his rifle. The OP-4 is neutralized, but the driver has been injured in the engagement. Using the new Interact with Vehicle clearance, the platoon leader removes the driver from the vehicle, allowing him to receive care. The driver is in serious condition and needs medevac immediately. The platoon leader initiates the new 9-line medevac functionality to call in medical support. Medical evacuation arrives, as well as an air assault team, to secure a nearby rooftop, providing overwatch for the convoy operations. Meanwhile, a rifleman secures the OP-4 using the new inventory system. While securing the enemy, he notices a handycam on the body and decides to take it as potential intel. He drags the handycam into his backpack to stow it. On the rooftop, the air assault team launches a handheld UAV to evaluate the surrounding area and determine if there are any remote threats. From his control station laptop, he is able to select the UAV and view from the UAV's camera feed as it automatically orbits. The controller can set new waypoints for the vehicle using the minimap or even remote pilot the UAV. Down on the ground, 
the platoon leader files an engagement report, just an example of the infinite number of custom forms possible through the new form editor. When the platoon leader sends the form, it transmits across the network to other users and can be reviewed in the AAR. In this way, users can train on proper procedures without leaving the virtual environment. As a precaution, the platoon leader decides to have the crew device in the vehicle activated to disable any IEDs that may have been laid as a secondary measure to stop the convoy. If we recall, there is still a proximity IED just ahead near the road, and as the vehicles pass by, the IED is neutralized by the crew device. Extraction is complete, and the scenario is over, but the training is only beginning. The teacher and students look through the AAR to see what they did and could have done differently. With the new ink spots and field of view feature, it is easy for instructors to point out when students linger too long or develop tunnel vision. Additionally, the instructor uses the security cameras he placed in the level to capture different views of the action and store them for the student's future use. As you have seen, the new features of VPS2 1.3 take training and simulation to yet a higher level of fidelity and quality. With the new tool sets, you can generate terrain faster for mission rehearsal, train in relevant procedures within the system, have more capability to represent real-world conditions, and then evaluate and improve training. For more information about the 1.3 features, please contact sales at vbs2.com.